Greetings YouTube. Yesterday I saw a video where someone was talking about mottos. The mottos that we had as kids and the mottos we have now as adults. Now I've got 400 subscriptions so unfortunately I can't remember who said this or who came up with this idea but I thank them. But I would like to do a motto based video today. So thinking back to my high school years, which is the first time in my life I think I actually had something that could fall into the category of a motto. I didn't have particularly good self-esteem um, as a survivor of physical and sexual abuse. That isn't shocking. I didn't view myself in a very positive way. And my most famous motto in at least the last couple of years in high school was look at me and laugh. I was making fun of myself in an effort to uh, dodge other people making fun of me. It wasn't particularly healthy, but I was known for the saying. It was, in its essence, my motto. Then we have the motto that you put underneath your senior picture. Everybody had one in one variety or another. One of my classmates had the best one in the book where he, had, he wrote, he put in, under his picture, this space for rent, humans only please. I thought that was brilliant. Um, mine wasn't as brilliant, but it was parody. And the quote was, the eternal question why, the timeless answer because. Unfortunately, I don't think anyone got the joke. Really, it's been 30 years, I don't think anybody got it. I don't think anybody's going to. After high school, I was an angry young man, and while I was an atheist at the time, um, pretty much my motto was, kill them all, let God sort them out. Um, I was hardline conservative in my beliefs. I very much wanted to rain wrath upon a whole lot of people um, on, and, and at times indiscriminately it was not a healthy state of mind but that motto and that attitude that came with it was very much what plagued me for a long time um, even after I became a theist it took me a long time to begin to move away from that and the motto I think of now which is the only motto I can think of since I had the attitude that was rather angry is compassion for myself and others. And I put myself first in that motto because if you don't have compassion for yourself, you can't have compassion for other people. You would simply be serving other people, and that isn't compassion. Um, that's just a, a psychological disability. So you have to have compassion for yourself before you can have compassion for others. And I often fail in both regards. I don't always have compassion for myself, and I don't always have compassion for others. Particularly when I'm in, I encounter uh, discrimination and injustice and prejudice and bigotry uh, in the world, in, in real life and in uh, here on YouTube and just in general in, on the internet. My compassion flies out the window and I find myself getting dirty and down and getting into arguments and fights often pointlessly almost always pointlessly but I still hold that concept in my mind and I still say that to myself on a regular basis because I want to strive towards it I want it to become not just my motto but the very core of my being so I ask my viewers what are mottos that you've had in your life from the past and in the present what are the mottos that help you get through the day I want to know.